Thank you for watching this episode of Inside IU Volleyball with Sherry Dunbar. Coach, a difficult weekend. They lost both matches, but you got to be happy in taking a set against number one Illinois. Well, I mean, we're never happy to lose, first of all, but I did like the fight we had against Illinois. Um, I thought we battled the entire match, and that was consistently probably the best fight we've had in several weeks. So um, we had opportunities in each of those sets, and we took a set off of them, and I think it really inspired me. You know, for Saturday, which wasn't as good, um, but I really felt like Friday we made some steps forward. And the Big Ten is tough in general, but what makes Big Ten road matches so difficult to win? Well, I think, you know, obviously home court advantage is a big part of it last year, going 13-2 at home, um, and that's almost a requirement in this conference is to win at home. And you know, I think that's a comfort level of playing in your own facility that you train in every day, you serve and pass in every day. And so I think it's very difficult when you go into somebody else's home. Uh, the Big Ten has the largest fan base in the country. So you're not only getting their comfort zone, but also their fan base. Uh, I think it makes it challenging. And the student sections can get rowdy. We heard we heard it. Champagne, Champagne native Morgan Leach was getting the trader chant. Yeah. And, uh, champagne the other night. But that's fun. You know, to me, as, as long as they're not personal and, and saying uh, bad things about our players, if they're just, they're having fun with it and, and being good students and, and good fans, I'm totally fine with that. I think that makes the excitement of, of volleyball what it is. And I love, to, I love to play in places where the fans just really appreciate good volleyball. And in this week's player feature, I sat down with DS Melanie Hicks. Mel, thanks for joining me. You just celebrated your 20th birthday? Yeah, no longer a teen. So do you, are you feeling a little older? Yeah, no, it's so weird. It just like hit like I was fine all day on Sunday. And then it hit me like just that night. I was like, it's like a like, chapter of my life. It's closed. Rocking like, this world for two decades now. I know. Well, because it's like when you turn 13, you're like, oh, I'm a teenager. And now I'm not anymore. But and then 16, you can drive. 20 is kind of uneventful. Besides... Not being a teenager, yeah. yeah. Well, you're you're an apparel merchandising major, which is kind of unique. We we don't see that much on the IU volleyball team. So, do you want to kind of design fashion? And well, it's not because that's what everyone's always like. Oh, so you want to make clothes? Well, like for me, I have a business minor, so I actually want to be on more of the like corporate side of it. And um, what would be my ideal job is to work for say like a sports company like Adidas or like. Russell or something like that and um, it's called a buyer and so like all the like athletic lines that they put out there someone had to pick those out like kind of design the line but stuff like that and just be in charge of all that which is what I would think would be really cool. So you're a very artistic person. Uh, what kind of drawing skills do you, painting skills do you guys have? Do you have? Um, well I took art all throughout high school drawing and painting and I was actually in AP art my senior year and I got a four out of five on my AP exam. Wow. So, yeah, I have some of my paintings up here, and so all the girls, like, they never really remember it, but they're always like, oh, yeah, you're, like, really artistic. Have you ever tried selling them one? No, I would, because I... You gotta make that money somehow. Yeah, I guess if I'm ever, you know, needing the money, I'll be like, here, I'll draw you. If you're ever, <laughs> if you're ever out on the streets, you can, you can get out of it by selling it. Yeah, definitely. So it was nice talking to you. <laughs> Indiana Volleyball's Pablo Picasso Mel Hicks. Yay! <laughs> I had a great time speaking with them. Yeah, you know, I'm really proud of it all lately. I've been on her a lot this season to get better, and, and I think over the last couple of weeks we've been talking about making changes as a group and individually, and I feel like, especially with her passing, she's starting to make those changes and really focus in on the technique that we're working on. And so it's nice to see her um, find some more success lately. And this weekend we head to Iowa Friday. What needs to be better against the Hawkeyes? Yeah, the fight. You know, the fight. Uh, we can't lose that part of it. You know, we can get better at the volleyball in the gym, but we have to. We have to consistently battle every time we step on the floor. Um, I think that's what we're working on this week as a team, as a program, is re-emphasizing that. Uh, what it means to wear that Indiana jersey and what that fight and that mental toughness is all about. So I think on Friday night, that's the most important thing that I want to see is our team wanting to battle for every single point. And then Saturday night, the team makes its first trip to Lincoln as Nebraska is a new member of the Big Ten. Yeah, I think I'm looking forward to that. Uh, really good fan base they have there, great facility, great floor to play on. Um, very good program, very good tradition. I'm, I'm very excited. You know, it's somewhere to go into Illinois right now. It's, it's fun. 
Um, we need to play our best volleyball to have a chance, but that's all we can do is have that opportunity. So if we show up and we battle, I like our chances right now. And normally we use Tweet of the Week to communicate with fans. We'll use a fan tweet. But this week's tweet comes from Coach Dunbar. She's laughing about it. I don't think it's so funny, but uh, on the bus to Champaign, I fell asleep before we got to Spencer. And yeah, five minutes into the trip, really. I mean, and that was the only five minutes I slept. Yeah, but you were out. I, I was out. So, and I want to say that I didn't take the picture. It was Ashley. Ashley Benson <laughs> took the picture. It was a great picture, though, and, and we had to tweet it. See, I, it, it's funny because the day before, no joke, I was talking to a friend of mine about how one of my biggest fears is falling asleep in public. And then you take beautiful. advantage of it. And now everybody that, that's a, a Twitter member can now see that, which is, all I think followers. we have about 16 or 1,700 Twitter followers right now, and they all get that beautiful picture of you. And, and my family always makes fun of how I sleep, and I was I had my head in between two of the seats, so kind of an awkward position. But I, I'm going to get... you won't fall asleep again, though. Yeah, I'm going to get you back sometime this season. Probably you won't. least expect it. Uh, and then wrapping up this episode, we want to send a congratulations to Kyle. He and his wife, Leslie, welcomed their son, Crosby, into the world last night. Yeah, we, you know, in the last month, we've added two new additions to our family with Adam, our trainer's baby, and, and now with Kyle. So we're really excited. Family. And the Hanson family, they just keep producing more and more kids. So More and more IU volleyball. Fans. Yeah, we like that a lot. So I got to see Adam's little baby today and had a little IU hat on. Looks fantastic. So I'm really excited to see Kyle's. Thank you for watching this week. We'll be back next week with another episode of Inside IU Volleyball with Sherry Dunbar.